Okay, this is getting real. I'm being tracked. So my options are to either keep the suit on or I'll strip down. I don't mind walking around naked, but I do mind bullets. If I keep the suit on, I'll still have people trying to kill me, which I'm kind of used to anyway. But if I take it off and I get shot, then that's it. I'm fucked. You know what I'm saying, man? You should. You don't even have a weapon. And don't think I'm gonna give you one. Well, I'm not stripping in front of you in case you're wondering. There's too many damn people in this building. Whoa, drafty. Okay. Oh my god, it's cold in here. <sighs> Is this 10 fucking Kelvin? Okay, pipes. More pipes. More pipes, dude. More pipes. Frosty. Well, I was wrong about one thing. Those aliens are not from a swamp planet. Anything that can... Oh my god. This whole neighborhood's going to hell. But with the gangs? Yep. Can't even walk down the street of your own planet anymore. I remember the good old days when I didn't have to bring a gun to work. My co-workers weren't space bugs. I had a salary. I wasn't wanted by the government. Then you happened! Ow! Was I shot in the back of the... No respect, man. No respect at all. Goddamn Outworlders are ruining this country. There was a time when we'd put you all in cages. And if it was up to me, it'd still be that way. Some of you keep zapping me with electricity. That means you're a power source. We should be taking advantage of that. This is also waste. Freeman, right? Yeah. Message for you. Make sure you don't- oh, Duh. Okay, 10-4. I'll be sure not to do that. Uh, my intuition tells me that wasn't the full message. Something about him killing himself to make a point doesn't add up. That and the silenced gunshot makes me think there's something devious going on here. Aha! Hmm, I don't see anyone. Maybe the problem went away. Maybe I willed it out of existence. Maybe he was the magical sniper fairy that comes and gives silenced hollow point rounds to people who don't eat their vegetables. That was one of the Grimm's tales, right? Ha ha ha! Ninjas! These aren't fairies, they're ninjas! Okay, move, move, move! In order to beat a ninja, I have to think like a ninja! Flank, flank, flank! Double back! I changed electron orbits! You think I can't find you? Fucking ninjas, man. Oh-ho! Ninja in the closet! Ninja in the closet! Oh, some ammo. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Ninjas, man. I was not ready for ninjas. Who is ready for ninjas? No one. They're ninjas. I've never even seen a ninja until today. Except for that dude at the knife store. They're probably already gone. Disappeared in the smoke. Oh. Nope. Well, this settles it. Black Mesa is a James Bond villain company. We have missiles, robots, lasers, sharks, and ninjas. Ah! Surface access! <laughs> Damn it. Eh, uh, maybe I'll level this place. Whoa! Holy shit! It's morning! How did I not notice this? Man, I am tripping balls! Time is moving way too fast. Something's wrong with my brain. It's like that experiment where they kept a guy underground in a cave for a few weeks with no time reference, and his body adjusted to a 25-hour cycle. Oh, here we go. Except in my case, my body's waiting to go... Jesus Christ! Hey, it opened! What was I thinking about? Oh, yeah, I need a watch. Oh, that's okay. Watches are cheap. So what should I do about this suit? What with the ninjas tracking me and all? I'm starting to like how it's painted bright orange. I think it makes people want to shoot me in the torso instead of the head. So should I take it off or leave it on? I don't know. The stripper's dilemma. If I wasn't a fugitive, I could publish a paper on this and get some money. I'll wait and keep it on until I find a car, then ditch it. Ow! Cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, people, listen up. Today we're talking about fermions. Fermions have a half integer spin, not a full integer spin. Those are bosses. Where am I? Uh, hold on. I, I think we're gonna have to move to another room. Somebody's renovating this place, I guess. I'm so confused. My head hurts. Man, I'm sore all over. I feel like I got my ass kicked. Jesus Christ. What was I doing in there? How did I even get in here? I want a drink. It doesn't have to be bourbon. I'm not too picky. You know, anything at least 80 proof. It smells like dog vomit in here. Oh, a hatch! There's the answer. Oh, I don't know if I can reach it. I'll find a stick or something. What the hell did I do last night? I remember there was some guy with an eye patch and a midget. Oh, perfect. What were they talking about? <laughs> mm, it was some sort of scam involving corn dogs. Shit, I don't remember. Uh, can't reach. I can tell already this is gonna be a fun day. Ah! Come on! This sucks. <sighs> Seriously, how did I get here? I can't go through my whole life living like this. Oh, Drain. If I party this hard every night, I'm gonna end up dead in a few years. I don't remember what happened. I think I was watching a movie about monsters and they attacked Canada. I mean, obviously something happened. I woke up in a trash compactor again. Yeah, this looks easier. Hey, the ruptured rusty rods reveal a rift. Whoa, wait, which way's up? Oh, okay, that's cool. See, an exit. I'm one of the kids who paid attention to the hamsters in class. <laughs> wow, this is not my finest hour, is it? Spending the night in the dumpster, getting dumped out of a sewer pipe face down into a runoff puddle, waking up in the afternoon, I'm probably missing work, I'm lost in the desert, I have many unexplained bruises and facial lacerations. They say you know when you hit rock bottom, but I can't say any of this is completely unfamiliar. Except for being in the desert, that's kind of new. The last time something like this happened was Austria. Actually, Austria was even worse because I woke up naked. I had to wander around lost in Innsbruck until I could make some clothes out of old garbage bags. Okay, well this part's different. Is this the only road? Yeah. God, that's a big cockroach. Jesus! That's the size of a freaking softball. On second thought, I don't think that is a cockroach. It's like something out of South America. I should start watching National Geographic again. Oh, there's another one. I don't like the desert. Shit! Someday I'll be president and it'll put this all in perspective. Oh, shit! Somebody had a worse night than me. I'm not touching anything. I'm not going to be part of the crime scene. That is rule number one to staying out of prison. And to making proper measurements on quantum particles. Man, I want to get back to the lab. Oh wait, something happened to it, didn't it? Huh. A giant bung. I'm not seeing an entrance. Good God, I'm in the middle of nowhere. How did I get here? Am I a werewolf? Yeah, but I'll go this way. Huh? Christ, it's hot out here. I caught a break being passed out in the shade, otherwise my face would be sunburned. It's always real classy going to parties with half of your face burned red. This isn't the right way, I should come down. Uh... Oh, that'll work. Okay. Ah, not bad. I could have gotten some sick air if I had a pogo stick. And a jetpack. And... Alright, I need to get out of here. Wandering lost in the desert is not good for my career. Hey, what's this do? Oh wow, it spins by itself. That, that's lazy. Power steering for when you're too tired to turn a valve. What's our obesity rate at? Isn't it like 30%? This is why I'm not in administration. I would have taken the money for power valves and used it to put a door on the side of the building. Oh hey, there's something down here. Lights and, oh there's the door. Okay. I was confused. I have silly ideas about building design. Like, I wouldn't make people climb- Oh hell, maybe that's how that guy died. 
I should be careful. Uh, but yeah, maybe he was just stepping outside the building for a smoke break, climbed the ladder up the silo, slipped at the top, then splat. I could be a detective. Although, as I say that, I still haven't figured out what happened last night. I remember having problems. Lots of problems. I'm pretty sure about that. Ah, it's an elevator! Like something we might have built in the Middle Ages! If we had motors. And water. Alright, well I think this was meant to be operated by a second person. But if I double time it, I should be able to get up there. I wonder why it was designed this way. It's probably because of a union contract that says we have to hire so many elevator workers and this is to accommodate that. Da 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 da! Climb, climb, climb! Monkey madness! Gotta get up to get down! Whew. <sighs> well, I'm pretty sure this isn't the executive elevator. That would have carpeting. Oh. This is kind of a crappy entrance, huh? Oh well! I didn't see any rose petals waiting for me on the outside. Still, with our budget, this is kind of bullshit. I think there's some class warfare going on at this company. Whoa! What's going on here? I've gotta check this out. I seem to remember a lot of gunfire from yesterday. That's odd. Oh, he dropped his clip. I'll take it, maybe I can sell it back to him. I wonder how much I can get from him. Probably at least 20 bucks. Oh, what's going on here? Fuck! Okay, something's not right here. This requires further investigation. I'm not gonna get my 20 bucks from him, am I? Okay, I'm not too sure what's going on here, but that guy dropped his gun. And guns open up a wide world of opportunities. It has blood on it, but it's a Glock. As for you... Yeah. Sweet! I want more things to shoot, besides this pile of rancid meat. Oh, that'll work. Okay, I don't think I've fired a gun before, but shooting things feels very familiar. And I didn't even have that dream where I was Snoop Dogg again. Yeah, I don't know. I think I shot somebody last night. Maybe a bunch of people. Well, I'm sure they had it coming. But if that's true, I may have screwed up way more than usual this time. I should watch my back. And what the hell are these things? Besides dead. Hmm, I'm low on theories. I think maybe these are some carnivorous plant crossbreeds that the biology department was working on where the containment obviously failed. Kind of like Little Shop of Horrors. Except we're the big shop of horrors. Okay, I'm still lost. Well, I think that's making sense. Biology had an accident, the specimens spread, but how do I play into this? I was probably down there trying to hit on Heather again and maybe she just lost it and knocked me unconscious. Then tried to dump my body because, let's face it, she's pretty stone cold. Shit, they're back. Well, it didn't work, Heather! Now I have a gun! You can't stop the Freeman! Well, okay, I guess doors can stop the Freeman, but... Damn, this kind of takes all the wind out of my image. Actually, I don't know if this was the biology department. Because whatever those things are, they're animals. And we don't do a lot of engineering with animals. There's just not enough money in it. Wait, I'm going backwards. I don't know. I mean, there was that pollen we developed from Monsanto that would kill people. Everybody was really proud of that. I'm gonna go out this way. I can squeeze in here. Whoa, whoa! Oh jeez, massacre that hurts my knees. This suit needs shock absorbers. And drugs. Why am I wearing the suit anyway? Did I steal it? I don't think I would have been that stupid. If Black Mesa reported it stolen, somehow I think the police would know to look for the last person who was wearing it. I couldn't have been trying to steal it. Why this must be- Yeah, I'm lost. So if I'm wearing the suit, that must be we had an experiment. 
Hey, we did do the experiment. I remember. Sort of. There was lots of green. Okay, so we had the experiment, then what happened? Oh, I know. And they had to kill a bunch of cockroaches. Because I hate them. I want them all to die. Stop! And after that, I got depressed. And... Okay, this is easy to figure out. Because if the experiment was a success, I would have partied all night and got drunk off my ass and probably woken up in a dumpster. But... I woke up sober, and that sucks. So that must mean the experiment was not a success. I probably got into some fights then. Oh man, this is where I just was! Ah oh, well, it beats the desert. Plus, I have a gun, so my prosperity is assured. Now I just have to find someone and tell them I'm lost. If they laugh at me, I point my gun at them. If they tell me they're too busy to talk, I point my gun at them. It's really that simple. Okay, I don't think I've tried this giant pot stirring room. I'm not sure what they're stirring, but I'm guessing anything luminescent and neon green isn't very tasty. Okay, now if I hang down properly, this should work. Ah, much better. Now I just need to learn to do that faster, so I'll be ready when I come to work with the smoke bombs. Wait, which way is north? You're not north, but... No. Everyone here is a liar. I don't like liars. Christ, where am I? This is just some chemical processing facility. I don't remember what I was planning to do today, but I'm sure this isn't it. Black Mesa is not a tourist trap. Of course, I've already been here. It's not just me. No one should be here. No one comes to a half-abandoned warehouse unless they work there, they're trying to film a low-budget horror movie, or if they're a photographer taking bullshit black-and-white photos pretending to be artsy. That's it. And I'm going the wrong way again. I suppose I shouldn't expect the red carpet treatment breaking and entering into the site of a chemical plant, but I still find the building layout confusing and I'll lodge a complaint with the administration if I find a front desk. Well, not this way. Oh, and I would also like to file a complaint about the number of locked doors here, and about the mutant animals that appear to be eating people. Trespasser or not, I have rights, and I'm entitled to a reasonable expectation of safety and comfort when I break into a place. This is America, after all. I need to get an attorney. This whole situation is completely unreasonable for someone of my stature, and there is... Jesus Christ, this is the wrong way, too! Alright, I'm gonna have to start thinking outside the box here. I should think less like a human being that uses doors, and more like a squirrel that has anger problems. Besides, I think it's entirely possible I'm the first person to ever set foot here. My name will be in history books. <laughs> Therefore, as these are new territories discovered by the nation of Freeman, any and all claims shall henceforth be named after me. Me! The official name of this monument will be the Freeman Industrial Strength Mixer with green crap inside of it. Hey, I think that's an entrance over there. That seems entirely worth the risk. Especially since I really don't know the contents of this. I mean, there's the possibility that this really is just a giant vat of gelatin and dye even though it doesn't smell like it. I mean, this is normal what I'm doing, right? People do things like this all the time when they get locked out of their office. And... Oh wow, that thing could take my head off. Ah! See, this is how you get promoted. What I'm doing right now, this is progress. I'm... sure of it. Eh. If this ends up being a fuel line and gas starts flooding in here, I'm going to look really stupid. I remember in some job interviews I had during grad school, they would sometimes ask me, where do I see myself in five years? I never knew how to answer that question. And now that I'm lost inside a drainage pipe in a chemical processing plant, this is why. Oh, this looks promising. I was expecting spinning saw blades or a pool of acid. This is much better. But why are there no doors here? Did I actually enter this room in the correct manner? Maybe the room itself is alive. Um... OH MY GOD! I'M GONNA- <laughs> Okay, 
I'm awake. I was a little drowsy. Now I'm awake. Oh, yuck. What is that? That is nasty. I do not have to accept this. Oh, you bastards. Fine. Need to avoid the blood shower? This isn't the sort of thing I should have to worry about. Jesus, where is this coming from? Maybe we don't even ship in meat. We just slaughter the cows right here at the facility. And then just dump them in the water like we know what we're doing. Oh my god. This better not get in my hair. If I wanted to smell like McDonald's, I would have stayed in the trash compactor. No! Open up! FBI! I have a warrant! Hey! Hello! I shouldn't be surprised the doors are locked. No one likes to hang out in the meat dumping room. Not even on break. So how am I getting out of here? I'm not swimming through the fan blades. That's an easy option to scratch off. And I somehow don't see myself shimmying up a sheet metal wall. I am definitely late for work. Oh well, guess I'll go with the flow. Fuck, I just know some of these meat chuts are getting in my hair. I'm gonna need some serious shampoo after this. I'm not a leper, I shouldn't have to stand for meat dandruff. <clears throat> the exit must be on the other side. <sighs> I wonder how fast I'd have to run to skip on top of the water. It smells funny here. And there is no exit. What the hell, people? What's this? Ah, more water. Oh. I would explain the smell. What the hell are we spraying? I don't like orange. Orange is a bad color for industrial chemicals. We could get away with this if we were making Cheetos, but I'm 80% sure Cheetos aren't made like this. Hmm, looks like I need to keep on swimming. Can opener! <laughs> yeah, swimming upstream is for losers. Losers and salmon. Cool ceiling. <laughs> Uncool undertow. Ah! Oh, this is a pretty shitty water park. I'm not coming here again. Oh god, there's that gas. I don't want to breathe this. Gas on a rotating crusher! Maybe I shouldn't be going this way. Well, hey! This room looks like something. It has steps and everything. That means I'm done with the meat processing ride. I think my values have dropped considerably since I woke up. Instead of getting to work on time, now I just want to not die. And... Oh my god, this is that same room. I've gone in a giant circle again. This is horrible. Well, I suppose this is good preparation for later in life if I get Alzheimer's. I'll wake up not remembering everything, but still be able to escape the retirement home. Wait, what am I saying? I'm not gonna get Alzheimer's. People who stay mentally active have resistance against that, and I mentally dominate everyone. When I get old, I'm gonna buy that walking cane I saw that secretly transforms into a sword and scare the hell out of anyone who doesn't show me respect. Glad to see air is part of today's itinerary. Hmm. I wonder if I'll need a separate shampoo for my beard than I will for my hair. Oh, another gun! <laughs> okay, what the fuck did I just shoot? I'm totally justified, whatever it is. Looks like a cross between a leopard and Cthulhu. Yep, that's definitely not a cockroach. Wait, I've seen these things before. Oh shit, I remember now. These are aliens, of course. I remember everything. I was in the test chamber, I was going to load the new sample in, then somebody cut the lights, and then some of the scientists put on these creepy looking robes and started lighting torches. Then one of them got on the intercom and started chanting this crazy ritual. Next thing I know, we have beings from another dimension teleporting in here like we're giving away free t-shirts. Oh no, not this room again. I don't understand. Why do we make rooms that can't be accessed connect to other rooms that can't be accessed? I bet this guy died trying to get out. 
Hey, what's this? Oh, satchel charges. These are how you create your own exits. Glad they were just lying on this desk. Wow, these things have a remote control and everything. Maybe I should hold on to these. I bet I could sell them for a good price. I'm sure Eddie would take these off my hands for me. He loves this stuff. This could turn out to be a good day after all. I think the revolver must be a magnum. That thing felt like I was God. Thou shalt not eat my face. I am the Lord thy God. Behold me push these switches. Hey, these aren't doing anything. There, now they're all in the off position. Piece of crap. Why make a switch box that's clearly labeled, easily accessible, if it doesn't actually work? Now an optimist would say, hey, that's two out of three. I say that's bullshit. Ugh, oh, I wasn't asking for a second opinion. Least of all yours. This is not a democracy. I have a gun, so I'm in charge. Many governments around the world function on this principle, and some of them last for months. This is not complicated. You're making it that way. Blah! Well, I guess the good news is I'm not late for work like I thought. No work today. We have too many problems. Like death. That was a pretty big problem for a lot of the faculty, if I recall. I mean, it wasn't for me, but come on. Although maybe I shouldn't be so cocky about my situation since I don't know how to get out of here and I don't feel like swimming again. Although saying that implies I felt like doing it to begin with. Button! What did that do? Ah! Don't mash my potatoes. Stop. No. Not what? Uh, yeah, there we go. I get it. Turn off the hammers, then the switches. It's like sawing through a body at the joints so you don't have to cut through the bone. Wait. It's nothing like that. I'm confused. Okay, I think if I just break everything, life will get simpler. Switch one, switch two, switch three, you suck. And that appears to have done nothing. Okay, see this is why I study theoretical physics. I don't normally have to do all the dirty work. It is so much easier yelling at a lab assistant to do things for you. Mm, Jesus Christ. Body low. Whoa! Nice speed! I guess today's more interesting than usual. I mean, I'm body surfing on a conveyor belt at some creepy factory. Most people don't do that, even on weekends. I hope this leads to one of those big plastic ball pits they have at themed pizza restaurants. That would almost make up for all the switches. Ah, uh, no, we're getting off here. This part looks good. <laughs> I mean, there's a ladder here. Surely someone was meant to come this way. No. No one's ever been here. Oh. <sighs> Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to sleep. It's not like I have to work today. <sighs> no. Oh. Holy shit, was that a bat? No? Guess not. I, I, I can't sleep. I know I saw a bat. It's just waiting until I'm asleep to bite my face off. Where is it? Look at that ceiling. It could be anywhere. This is a losing battle. I'm getting out of here. The feng shui of this room sucks anyway. Why does this room even exist? It doesn't. I'm leaving it, therefore it ceases to exist. <laughs> well, not really, but that's how my memory needs to file it. Why are there enormous pistons here? If there was something on the belt, it would just crush it to the side and not send it anywhere. So why would... Yes, Master. Wait, no. Stop. I really don't understand what the purpose of this is. Other than to scare me. But... <sighs> there are cheaper and more energy efficient ways of doing that. I would feel better about this experience if I knew that on the other side of these walls, the giant robot was moving its fingers. <laughs> it would seem more noble then. Oh wow, seriously? We actually have crushers of death too? What are we making in this factory? Something flat? Jesus Christ. Oh god! Oh, they have different stomping patterns. Yeah, that's really necessary. Ah. Oh, this one's full of tricks. It's tapping out more than the fucking belt. Red lights walking backwards. Give me some more pressure! I don't have enough! Yes! Biohazard! Perfect! Thank you! Ah! Falling to my death! Tank of acid! Superb! 
I'm stepping. I hear fire, but I don't see fire. It must be space fire. But I am not a spaceman, thus I do not need to be extinguished. Man, look at these landings. Sideways free falling on moving conveyor belts. I am a cat. It's kind of pissing me off this whole place is abandoned. I don't have anyone to show off to. If the workers were here, they could say, Hey, look at him! He's riding a conveyor belt! I've always wanted to do that! Whoa! Oh my god, I can feel the heat from here. I need to get off here. Maybe this way? Oh, this way sucks. Okay, yeah, this will work. <sighs> okay, that's the end of the ride. I can dodge giant crushers. I can't dodge an incinerator. I would need much better reflexes. <gasps> and the more nebulous body. Until you can rearrange atomic particles the way you want them, I don't think anyone can ever claim to have true power. Oh, what's this? Another dead end? Okay. Hey, then why have safety railing in a walkway if no one can get up here anyway? I cheated! I came in on the conveyor belt! No one's supposed to do that! Yeah. I can expect this crap on Mars. They have a third gravity. I can just hop up here. Not on Earth! <clears throat> well, that drop wasn't too bad. Maybe I'm developing a resistance. It's like that joke on the Adams Family, where Gomez tells an insurance agent he's learning to skydive with a smaller and smaller parachute until he doesn't need one at all. That was a cool show. I identified with Thing. What is this thing? It looks like a shrine. Maybe it breaks so much they decided to install a light here for the workers rather than replace it. If your logic acts under the assumption that this thing will be breaking forever, then some decisions start making more sense. Something tells me you're not going to contribute anything to this conversation. I'm a good debater. Though you do make a strong argument for not going that way. Alright, I'm agnostic about which concrete corridor I take. Having no other information than it's another concrete corridor. Oh, it's a dead end. With no storage here or anything. I see. We're playing that game again. Well, I do have criticisms about how this place is structured. Maybe I'm not one to talk, because I shouldn't even be here. But you shouldn't either. So, there's that. Oh, hey, a door. This means that the builders of this temple were civilized. No. No, my mistake. They're savages. But who am I to question their ways? Maybe they play hide-and-go-seek here when it's a slow shift. Maybe... They're doing it right now. And you are it. I win. Okay, so who's more at fault here? Me, for entering this place like I'm trying to break into the Pentagon, or everyone else for not giving me an exit to begin with? And another dead end. No, two dead ends. Classy. Okay, so that answers that question. It is not my fault, but will I be able to prove it? I mean, I look. There was no entrance or exit from that other factory wing. But of course, some jackass is gonna come along later and show me an obvious one in a place I already looked. It wasn't there earlier. Like, there's gonna be one here tomorrow, I bet. Fucking gremlins are building it right now, just so I look like an idiot later. When the truth is, I arrived at this reality a little too early. Oh, stairs. That'll work. Shit. I feel like strangling something. It would be fun to be known as a strangler. I mean, it wouldn't be worth it to strangle people just to get the name. But if the police came up with a name for me like the Sneaky Strangler, that would be cool. Okay, good. This sign points straight, not left four times in a row. That would piss me off. Well, what am I talking about? I have a PhD. They call me Dr. Strangle Love. Actually, that could be a porn name, but only for the edgier stuff. Ah! Oh god, I'm out of ammo! Who's well, the servers have to reload? They're fired! What do you mean there's no ammo left? You're fired too! I can't delegate anything around here! <sighs> well, at least I have my backup gun. Let's just hope I don't need a backup backup gun. Most people don't need that. Most people don't even need a backup gun. I guess it depends on what state you live in. What the hell is this thing? I didn't imagine it. Draw! Well, it was a fair fight. No one could say it wasn't. Yeah, I guess this is presumptuous, but I have to say that- Oh, hey, there are stairs. That sign wasn't lying. What was I thinking about? Stairs... Alien... I wanted a banana milkshake. Oh, that's right. I'm a little disappointed by these aliens. 
They're not displaying much intelligence. They're naked. They're mostly just bipeds. I could come up with much better aliens than these. Okay, uh, ha ha! Joke's over. Where's the exit? Oh my god. Alright, I already went to this red shrine thing, so I know where this belt goes. <clears throat> I guess I'll just try again. Maybe I missed something. Because, you know, exits are supposed to be difficult to locate. Because God help you if somebody exited your building by accident. Then, they'd have to come back in. Oh hey, that's it! I did try this belt backwards! <sighs> because it's the other one I came in on. <sighs> okay, so let's talk better aliens. It depends on the gravity and atmosphere, obviously. But if it's like ours, what you need is all the organs in the core, with many muscular appendages, with hand-like grippers on the ends. <sighs> if the inner ear was developed, this would allow for extremely good mobility and a natural advantage over us for tool use. <sighs> so it would look like a jointed octopus rotated on an axis or two with hands. No! Damn it, no! This is unacceptable! <sighs> Remember lasers are bad! Trip mine! That's a trip mine! Why would we do that? Either everything conforms to standards or we blow up the assembly line. Is that it? What the hell? This is an American company. We're not supposed to have that all or nothing mentality like the Japanese. I'm gonna shoot it. I don't care if it blows up the conveyor. It's their fault. <laughs> Damn it. This is hard. I could use a scope, but it would just kick up in my face. <laughs> ah! Yep, I blew up the conveyor. Now the district manager has to commit harikari, I guess. This reminds me of those old video games from Japan that were impossible to beat. And if you died, they would tell you how many fingers to cut off to preserve your honor. Man, that barely damaged it. I guess it was a practice explosive. Are you fucking kidding me? Two? <laughs> Just in case the first one wasn't enough? Jesus Christ. I can't crap walk out of here. Okay, okay, I'll just grab the side. It's sweet. Oh my god, it sucks being lost. <sighs> Fuck. I don't think I'm gonna get a nap in today. There's just too much to do. Ah, door! Door! I, I can make time for that. If you ask me whether I'd rather open a door or try to kill myself... Ah, actually, scratch that. Those are shitty options. I just want to leave. Oh, this is that door. So leaving was never an option. Now crawling in circles until you fucking die, there's an option! I like that option! Let's go with that option! Ah! Actually, I was just kidding. I don't like that option. Wait! I have satchel charges! I could bring this whole building down! Just need to find the right place. I need to get higher up. Then I can find some sort of support beam to really collapse this place. I forgot I was even holding these things. Yeah, now I'm feeling a lot better about how I'm getting out of here. It's no longer an if situation. Honestly, this amount of ordnance is a real comfort factor. It's like having a square explosive teddy bear. I need a marker so I can put a little smiley face on it. Give it a name. Now the most obvious ones are Boomer or Boo Boom. But if I named it something like Chuck, that has some nice subtleties to it. Mm, I'm not seeing any obvious spots here. It would be better if I could place the charges closer to where I could see daylight, at least. Actually, I could get past this conveyor. I'll try that first, then I'll blow up the building. <laughs> Guardrails! Yeah, safety first! Hey! <laughs> this isn't too bad. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Radioactive! Are we saying crushing, drowning, burning, exploding? Is it thorough enough for this place? Ah, screw it. I have a Geiger counter on my suit because I am trendy. I'm a fashion pioneer. So I'll decide for myself if this place is radioactive or not. For all I know, they could be talking about the sun. It can be seen from a window. Warning. Drop off! <clears throat> Are you kidding? This is even worse than I expected! This is something out of a cartoon! Oh my god! Those just killed that space bug like an earth bug! Oh wow! My lucky day! This is a dream come true! An 
I was a kid and I went to see Santa Claus, I told him I wanted to be in a cage fight with these tiny fucking monsters jumping at my face. And I wanted the floor to be made of a giant crusher that could kill me in one quick motion. And the sides to be slanted so if I slipped I'd immediately die. And now I have it all! What more can I possibly ask for? Christ, I hate having to make decisions under pressure like this. Of course, there's only one option, so... Oh, jello knees. I feel sore. I think I'll take a dip in this thoughtfully provided bath of green glowing liquid that's... Oh wait, this is a trap. I'm not falling for that. This isn't even a spa. What the fuck? It's like they're not even trying. Oh yeah, radiation. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Well, my Geiger counter still hasn't gone off, so you're a liar, Mr. Sign. You'll fit right in this place. What is it with this intense red lighting and cramped corridors? I feel like I'm on a sub. This designer must have been navy. Oh damn, we're great over top. Is this necessary? If there's someone up there, I'm gonna pop up and say I'm a troll and want some goat meat. Oh god, they locked this too? Alright, well, I don't have much else to work on. Oh, that opened right up. Okay, I'm your dance instructor. No, you're starting too early! Stop that! I said stop that! One, two, three, left! One, two, three, left! No, oh, no, your rhythm's all wrong! Ah, I give up. I can't teach this class. Some people just don't want to learn, you know? Oh, hey, there's a box of ammo. Hell, these will fit the revolver. I guess being a teacher does have its perks. Oh, nice, it comes with a speed loader. Though, I guess if you need a speed loader, you shouldn't be using a revolver in the first place. But here I am, in some sort of dog kennel, I guess. Except I'm on the wrong side of it. I'm getting out. No, maybe not. It's the amps that kill you, but do I really want the volts either? Well, the people who built this kennel didn't count on one thing. I'm not a dog. Actually, if the fence wasn't electrified, I think a dog could get out of here. But I'm part of the Opposable Thumbs Club, so I think I'll play it safe. Oh yeah, this will hold me. Now the trick here is to not do a belly flop onto the fence. That would be the worst possible outcome. Oh boy. Nothing like the loving embrace of poured concrete. You know, I'm almost disappointed I don't see anyone following me, because I'd like to see them go through everything I have. Or maybe somebody was following me, but they're dead now because they tried to keep up. That would be kind of flattering in a way. I'm just that good. What? Whoa! How did something that big sneak up on me? Yeah. Yeah, that got you to calm down. I can see you know what this is. Good. We're having some interspecies communication. Damn, you're as big as a linebacker. Looks like you have some sort of armor. An extra appendage. Yeah, you're definitely more impressive than the rest of the losers here. I could see you getting a job in management. Well, I'll let somebody else dissect you. I've already done more than my share in the name of science today. What is wrong with this world? Alright, where are the keys? Do you have them? No, probably not. Buttons locked. Computers locked. Well, I'm the locksmith. Alarm? You think I was- OH GOD! See, this is why people need to do their own work. When I have to do their jobs for them, this is what happens. Did I kill it? Ah! Okay, the bullet test is inconclusive, so uh, let's see how it responds to a different set of stimuli. Hypothesis confirmed. Christ, I hate bio labs. Hey, what's this? Why did a new set of alarms start? I don't like this, I'm leaving. Why is this door locked? I didn't even shut this. Shit. I think this is what being an atom feels like. Oh. Uh. Well, I feel okay. But something tells me I might be sterile now. Oh, hey! I need some help! Don't be shy. Wow, that is beyond rude. Oh, shit. I forgot. Everyone's trying to kill me. Yeah, of course. It's not my imagination. Everyone is trying to kill me. Hey, Aha! <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, everyone dies. Yeah, I see right through you. Standing there, acting like you're my best friend. 
when you obviously wave that assassin right on past you? I can't trust anyone here. But I never did anyway, so I guess there's no problem. Yoo-hoo! Over here! You forgot your bullets! Take some of mine! You're welcome! Hmm. I'm going to need some more ammo if I'm going to kill the whole world. Well, here's some guns. That's a start. I'm a gun farmer. I plant bullet seeds in people at about a thousand feet per second and out pop more guns. Right now I'm harvesting. So, I admit I really dropped the ball forgetting everyone was trying to kill me. That's so unlike me. Usually that's the first conclusion I come to when things go wrong. If anything, it's less stressful now since I don't have to wonder if they're going to kill me. I know they are. Oh, ammo. No more second-guessing people when they give me shifty looks around the coffee machine or pass me in the hall. I can just kill everyone. It's a catch-all equation. But I still don't remember why everyone's trying to kill me. I just remember people showing up and shooting. That's not very progressive. Are you kidding me? This is the fucking lobby! Why are these doors locked? From the inside! Access denied. Who said that? Somebody's watching me. Fine. They don't want to let me leave the building? I can improvise. Watch the glass. I have a good suit, but if those shards got in my eye, oh man. Damn it. Come on. There's no grip. All right. I'm going to have to go find a crate or something. This is doable. You know, I seem to remember having seen a crate before. Hmm. Or a grappling hook. Wow, I could really use a grappling hook. I'm gonna buy one from Play It Against Sports or someplace once I get out of here. Okay, new job. Find something to climb out of here. I'm doing a lot of jobs. Every employer I've had pulls this crap. They hire me to do one thing, but what they really mean is one thing plus 50 other things because they don't have enough people. And guess what? I'm the new hire. So I do it. Forever. Right. Well, at least Black Mesa has a legitimate excuse that most of their workforce is dead. Gotta cover for the dead, guys. And what's this say? Superbus via... I don't know much Latin. Language of science, my ass. It would be kind of cool if I wrote out Latin is a dead language in blood and made it look like one of the soldiers did it as his dying action. People would say, wow, those were his last words, huh? Make them think. Hmm. I guess I could stack these bodies to make a human staircase out of here. But that's gonna be a lot of hauling. I'd probably need at least five or six. They're heavy, too. I'd wear myself out if I moved all of them. I'm sure there's a cheap lab stool around here somewhere. What was that? I don't like hearing explosions if I'm not the one making- God, Jesus! Freaking door conspiracy! You can't tell me there isn't one. They know. Hey, a button! I've got my button pressing gloves on and I'll wait, wait, wait. Maybe I shouldn't press this button. I'm getting some weird vibes here. Like, why is there a dead guy inside these cages? I don't know what department this is, but this isn't how we kept our lab. If somebody turned up dead in one of our experiments, it got cleaned up immediately. I'm not gonna press that button. I'm gonna press this button. No, maybe I shouldn't. I'm having deja vu. I've been in this room before. The last time I pressed that button, I remember a white hot light, and then the universe felt just a little bit emptier. We shouldn't be making these buttons. Oh! It's that time of the year again. Okay... Tag, you're it! Not you, the other guy! You're it! You're it! You're it! <sighs> no tag backs. Oh, nice. I have the hiccups. And I get really nervous after killing people. Is that normal? I think it's because there could be other people to kill, and I never really know if my job's done. <laughs> Clearly it isn't! That's a pretty big oversight if I'm trying to- <laughs> Why is it my job to kill everyone? I almost feel like my degree is being wasted here. I mean, what I'm doing now really has nothing to do with quantum mechanics or general relativity. There's just no crossover. Don't come near me! Don't come near me! No, no! I have a personal space, oh god damn it! Personal space! Nobody has any respect for my privacy. They all think I've done something. Hip it up, the 
Out of ammo. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Thought you were somebody else. Did he buy that? I would... I don't, I, I, would, I don't know. Maybe he respects my privacy. I mean, there is no actual right to privacy, but it's implied by the rest of the Constitution. And this gun. What's going on here? It's a prototype cheese slicer, I guess. Doesn't look like it's going too well. Okay, where is this guy? I can't have somebody sneakier than I am running around here. Then the whole system falls apart. Ah! Oh, I think I got him. Yeah, that's right. Thought you could take cover in this completely empty hallway with nothing in it. And the door opened, so that means you weren't trying to run away. So that really was your plan. Well, you're not gonna make Sergeant like that. So, looks like I've gone in circles again. But now, I can do it on the next floor! I can't wait, I'm gonna run up there. <gasps> okay, I need everybody to calm down! Just calm down! I can't help anyone if you're not calm! Are we calm yet? Yes? No? But oh my god! We need to relax! Do not relax! Jesus Christ! Ah, this session's off to a rocky start, but I think I just need to change tactics. Okay, listen up, everybody! Are we calm? Relax and follow the sound of my voice! I need you to take deep breaths! Deep breaths! Yes, that's good! No, not like that! Start over! Actually, I think that's all the time we have for today. We'll meet again next week. Okay, now that everyone's calmed down, we can start thinking rationally. It stands to reason that with so many of you here, there must be a functional entrance. Unless I'm imagining everyone here. That would be a game changer. Hey! Whoa! That's awesome. I'm gonna leave this on. It looks expensive. Hmm, that is something to think about. If I am imagining all these soldiers, then I'm just shooting random people, or maybe nobody at all. But if that's the case, then it makes sense why- <gasps> People are trying to kill me. Damn it, not you! You're not even people! <laughs> Bouncing nightmares. <laughs> if I want yellow space maggots jumping in my face, I'll ask for it! And I'm never gonna ask for that! Well, lasers make me happy. Maybe not as much as food, some painkillers, bed rest, not being persecuted, just getting my life back on track in general. But hey, I'll take lasers. Wait, it's some kind of weapon? Put that down. It's a proto I'm hearing voices again. <laughs> what? Much too unpredictable. Don't let it overcharge. What do you mean? Over <laughs> you know, for every mistake I make, somebody else is making an even bigger one. Ugh. Well, I'm not touching that thing. I doubt it's any safer with blood all over it. Hey, how did those guys get in here? Oh, of course, through the ceiling. I guess they blew up <gasps> the rope they used to get in there. I guess I'm getting jaded and that seeing some body parts lying around doesn't freak me out the way it used to. It still freaks out most people. A lot. Like if we're able to clo- Oh hey, a button. <sighs> Damn, I don't think it has any power. But yeah, if we're ever able to clone body parts easily, I just want to sprinkle them across the countryside and covertly videotape people discovering them. Small towns where not a lot happens would be best. Just leave- <gasps> Just leave a severed arm lying there on Main Street. Especially if they don't know it's cloned. Wait, I've already been here. Christ. So then a week later, I come back and leave a cloned leg there that's just as fresh so they think I'm hacking up some guy in my basement. People would worry over nothing. He'd be great. More lasers. Fuck yeah. Maybe if I turn all these on and redirect them, I can start shooting down satellites. That would be so rad. Oh, I can feel the hum off this thing. Let's try again. Oh, badass. Badass. Oh yeah. Once I reorient this thing, I can shoot a satellite down for sure. Somebody's gonna be missing their TV channels tonight. <gasps> oh yeah. I'm gonna start the laser channel. All lasers, all the time. Actually, I guess it's not all the time. That's a problem, isn't it? I need a way for this thing to fire continuously. And it's not doing much good pointed at this wall. I need to reflect it somewhere. What's that say? Do not obstruct laser shield. Big letters, too. Well, that's almost asking for someone to obstruct it, isn't it? I don't care for your rules. Now I want to see what happens when it gets obstructed. There, that should do it. 
I've never used a laser this big. I don't know what'll happen. If it starts bouncing everywhere, I'll just run out of the room. Awesome. It's burning it up. Oh! That's even better than I expected! Look at that sucker! Oh, oh no! Don't stop! Let's keep this laser party going! Get a disco ball and some music in here! Let me clear out the bodies. Hell, shoot the laser at the disco ball and set this whole room on fire! Huh, this material is slower going. It might take me too long to carve a tunnel out of here this way. Even though that would be totally awesome! Hmm. Wait, where does this room even go? It goes down. Can't say I like that. But this whole building's a dead end except for the ceiling. I guess I could push that crate all the way downstairs to get out. I mean, I don't have any duct tape, otherwise I'd tape down that button, take a nap, and let the laser burn a hole out of here. But this crate must weigh at least 200 pounds. Damn, and I'll have to push it up those other stairs, or else go the long way around with that ramp. Screw that, I'll check out this room first. And hey, if I... If I slip and crack my skull, then at least I'll know this was the wrong decision. God, no matter how much I try, I can never ignore gravity. It's just always there. Talk about oppression. It's ah! You never get a break. <laughs> Unless you're completely underwater. But then you can't breathe. So what the hell? This is an awfully big ceiling. Maybe they used to have a giant trampoline in here. I would. Oh, oh! The scientist. Thank God. Get us out of here before those military drones figure out where we're hiding. Okay. We all have retinal scanner access. Escort us to the lobby, and we can get out of the lab. Well, we'll I... Jesus Christ! First. Peter trying to flank me! I'm afraid he never made it back. Okay, everybody shut up! I need to think. Okay, I won't be killing you because you told me exactly it what I wanted to hear. System has completely hey, failed. what did I just say? I can still change my mind. There's enough in this clip for every one of you! Okay, let's do the get outside thing. You come with me! With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. Oh, so you think you're the brains of this operation, huh? I'll wait. God damn right you will. I never suspected such things could be. Okay, Dopey, you come with All me. All right. Okay, now this slicer is kind of dangerous. You ought to know you designed it. But just take your time. It's only a concentric circle pattern. All you have to... What the fuck? Looks like I picked the wrong man for the job. Jesus Christ. This just looks bad for everyone involved. God. Oh, yeah. Better make sure the door opens. That would really cap things off if it doesn't. Good. If this was locked, it would be a massacre trying to get this crew to climb up the pipes I came down on. Okay, people, time for plan B. Who is responsible for this mess? I don't like how you're looking at me. Are we gonna have a problem here? Let's go. Good. Okay, I guess you too. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. That's it. I've had enough flip from you. You stay. I'm slowing you down, am I? No, you're pissing me off is what you're doing. What I should do is turn that cheese slicer back on and let you form your own escape plan, brainiac. Like I need your help. I hope those people in the Lambda lab can get this under control. Well, if they're anything like Poindexter back there, I think we're on our own. Oh, now watch out here. These aliens ended up on display somehow. I hate these things, and you should too. And don't tap on the glass. They hate that. See, so watch this. Shit! I didn't mean to do that! Ah! I can keep going. Wow, you're pretty chill about all this. Kind of unnaturally so. I guess you're autistic. Great. Well, follow me. Well, I don't know what to say. I don't know why all the glass in the hallway shattered at the same time. Or why you would design something like that. I also think the sirens are really unnecessary, though that would make a pretty good alarm clock sound. You'd wake up and think there's a bombing raid going on. Well, here's the scan. Ah! I said no tag back! What the hell? Christ, I thought I got this guy. Well, I'll let you out, but I'm warning you, it's hell out there. Well, unlike it's here, completely right? under military control. You'll have to sneak and fight your way from one end to the other. Mm. I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way, 
But if you do survive and somehow make it across the base, you'll end up at the Lambda complex. No, I'm gonna where leave. The, rest of the science team has taken shelter. I wouldn't venture there myself, but I will let them know that you are. Dude, coming. you've been shot. You should find some gauze. Make sure the bleeding's under control. No, don't walk on it. I've taken some shots too, but I'm in plated body armor. Big difference. Big, big difference. Stop walking on it and go find some disinfectant. That's irony for you. He's the only person in this building who's been even remotely helpful. So naturally, he's gonna go get himself killed. Oh my god, I'm outside at last! Again! Ah! This endless desert isn't big enough for the both of us. Huh, it's kind of hot out here, but I still don't want to go inside ever again. Whoa, looks like somebody lost an argument. Oh, there's that noise. Is that real? I don't like that noise. Okay, I saw something. Not a weather vane, not a weather vane. It looks like an anemometer, but it is not. Anemometers don't fire bullets, not even the expensive ones. Or I don't think they do. If they do, meteorologists are more hardcore than I thought. Well, I don't know, maybe. They chase tornadoes and crap. Maybe this is what happens when they get better funding. Stop beeping! No more measuring wind speed for you. So maybe this is the meteorology department. That would explain all the skylights. Doesn't really explain the lasers or slicing machine though. What's this? Or the crates of explosives. Actually, I don't think this belongs to the science team. We make our own. Okay, don't shoot this. Huh? <sighs> but yeah, I could see meteorologists taking things up a notch. Like they normally release weather balloons and just count on people to be nice and mail them back when they land. Instead, they could deploy motion sensor turret guns on landing, send out a locator signal, and shoot anyone that got too close. They'd get their data then. Now, is there another turret gun waiting for me? Oh, somebody did not hear me through their helmet. You know, the Art of War talks about terrain, spies, the use of fire, but I bet if Sun Tzu had access to satchel charges, he would have authored a whole new section on them alone. Wow, they didn't notice that? They must be listening to the radio. I'm gonna change the station. Well, all in all, it's not such a bad way to go. Confusion for half a second, then death. I would feel bad about this, but morality is for people who don't have other people trying to kill them every five minutes. I mean, this isn't like a basketball game where I'm winning over and over. Come on, let us win just once. Come on, Gordon, let us kill you just once. Yeah. Jesus. I hope you're not upset about it. Never mind. Oh boy, that wakes me up. Wow. I almost feel like I don't even need more stimulants today. I guess I need some downers. Wow, I didn't know we had a dam. Had a dam. Uh, I don't think my suit can stop mortar shells. Oh, a helicopter with rockets. So that means climbing the rocks out of here isn't really an option. Well, shit. I'm embarrassed that I've been outwitted by a squad of soldiers with mortar shells and a helicopter with rocket missiles in a boxed-in canyon, but here I am. Boy, I feel like an idiot. I'm showing up with a gun to an artillery fight. That's like showing up with a rocket launcher to a tactical warhead fight. Of course, I didn't know this was gonna be an artillery fight. Oh boy. I don't even wanna be here. They can blow up the damn, damn, for all I care. Damn it! I'm pretty sure this is unconstitutional. Even cops aren't allowed to mortar people. I mean, what happened? Was there an emergency session of Congress to vote on bombing me? Okay, think. I guess I'll just rush them. If I stagger my approach, they should miss. No, I changed my mind! I don't want to die! Shark! Shark! Oh my 
my god, are you kidding me? I'm gonna bip up the boot. I feel sufficiently motivated to leave this place. I don't need your encouragement. I said I don't need your help. You have no faith in people. <laughs> bonk's bad, bonk's bad, bad, bonk's bad. Okay, suppress the fire in, suppress the fire out, do the hokey pokey, and that's what it's all about. Stop shooting me! I'm not the enemy! Get your head out of the cloud! Boy, what's it take to get some peace and quiet around here? So, let's assess the situation. I'm in a damn canyon. I'm stuck on this damn tower. What's in this damn room anyway? It's a damn button. Sounds like that did some damn thing. So how am I gonna get out of here? The soldiers blew up the damn bridge, and that damn shark's still in the damn water. Aha! Maybe he's faking it. No, I think I got him. Well, that's one less damn problem to worry about. But how am I gonna get up these damn walls? I don't see a damn ladder anywhere. There's no damn steps. This is a damn mess. Why did those damn soldiers pull that up anyway? I bet they're trying to cut the damn power. That means all those scientists are gonna get stuck underground in the dark. Well, that's their damn problem. Okay, my options look pretty damn limited this way. Eh, I guess I'll just check out what's around that bend. Maybe there's a cruise ship that'll serve me some drinks. <laughs> Okay. Hey, there's nothing there at all! It's a damn dead end! The water must be seeping in underground! That doesn't help me at all! I'm sick of this damn place! I didn't kill that fish just so I could... Just so I could take over its job! Hey, maybe there's a tunnel. Some sort of valve down there. Maybe I could flood the whole canyon. That'll at least make me feel better. <gasps> okay, we can do this. Air, air is for losers. <gasps> Well, I'll be damned. I really didn't think I was gonna do anything like that again. Okay, let's get down to business. Does this guy have any money on him or snacks? This guy doesn't have anything. Well, don't expect any fare for Karen from me. If you're too cheap to keep even 50 cents in your pocket before throwing yourself off a dam, gotta save your money, right? This stream better go somewhere. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to start an avalanche. I have explosives. Okay, big giant wall with no steps. Not what I want to see. No. No. <laughs> Why lock that gate? Who do they think is gonna break in? I'm trying to break out. They think someone's gonna sneak in with a bucket and steal their water? Ah, I could fit into one of these pipes. But which one? I'll try this one. If there's a midget squatting here with a knife, then I'll just go in the other one. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? They tricked me again! Why have two runoff pipes if the circumference is exactly the same as the source? Although I like how they added lights here. That's awfully considerate and wasteful of them. I bet maybe someone comes through here twice a year, if that. But then again, we have a dam. May as well pimp the tunnels with extra electricity. Oh no. There's another one? Oh, this is gonna be a long day. I'd say I need a surface-to-air missile, but no one should need a surface-to-air missile. That should be firmly under wants and desires. This is bullshit. 
Another helicopter? I get the feeling something doesn't want me alive. Besides the obvious. Yeah, okay. This is the wrong way. I mean, sharks, mortar shells, attack helicopters, drowning. Some force wants me dead. Maybe that's why all of this is happening. I was supposed to die yesterday in the test chamber, but I did it because I'm hardcore. So now reality is slowly unraveling. That makes me the most important person in the universe. Still don't like getting shot at, though. Okay, I can jump this. How did this guy get here? I guess he fell out of the chopper. Well, glad they're using up missiles on something besides me. So if I die, will reality slowly correct itself, or will the world just end? It may as well be the end of the world if I'm dead. God, how many helicopters are there? Too damn many, that's how much. All right, yeah, more missiles. I never really had an opinion about it before, but after today, I think we definitely have too much military spending. It's what, 20%? It needs to be like 1%. Look at this guy, he's flying like he doesn't give a fuck how many missiles he uses. He's not paying for it. I'll probably use the extras to blow up cacti. Cacti! Yes! Fire missiles at me! That's totally not overkill! No! Which way do I go? Oh my god! It's so hard to concentrate out here! Oh nice, an arch. Yeah, let's see you shoot through solid rock there, tough guy. Man, I'm a little light on ammo after shooting that last chopper down. I think I just got lucky in that last one. I mean, these are only what? 9mm? Their hull can probably take that. I'm pretty sure I'm not the first person to have the idea of shooting at a helicopter. Bastard! Ah! Okay, I need some volunteers! With your help, we can shoot down this helicopter! God damn it, you're not helping at all! Do I look like a helicopter? No! I do not look like a helicopter! If I did, my life would be less complicated in some ways and more complicated in others. Actually, my life's gotten really complicated lately. I guess I'm not doing as much math. That part's simpler, but I like math. Math has zero bullshit tolerance. Storm drain hatch? Where? Yeah, just as I thought, that did nothing. Storm drain, it probably rains here once every three years. Ah. If I smoke, this is exactly where I'd have a cigarette right now. Smoke tobacco. I guess I've smoked peyote, but it's better to just chew it or take it intravenously. Oh, here's a good hiding spot. Oh, wow. More explosive rounds. Yeah, I could think of a lot of uses for these. Yeah, this would actually be a terrible time to take peyote. I don't see how a good trip would be even possible. Oh, man, shells. This is a treasure stash. Maybe if I keep looking, I'll find a big bag of cash. That would simplify my life. Maybe since the universe is conspiring to kill me and failing at it, that means I can break more rules and get away with them. Like I could go in and rob a bank, and even though there's only like a 30% success rate of that, I'd be the one to get away with it. Ah! 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 Leave me alone! I'm on my smoke break! Uh... These things burrow? I don't think so. Mines? Okay, I guess don't go past this point. Fucking tremors, man. Oh, look, my best friend's back. Okay, time to visit Chateau du Rock again. Don't cave in on me. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking at, but there's a dead guy, so there's that. I guess I could talk to him, see if he knows anything. Hey, I was right. It's something horrible. Jesus Christ. Whoa, whoa, what's the range on that thing? Wrong answer. I think I'm just pissing it off. I'll leave it alone. Maybe it'll grab the helicopter. Then everyone will be happy. And we'll have balloons and ice cream and cake and... Hey, I've been here already. I'd know that mound of sand anywhere. The desert tricked me. And God damn it, that helicopter won't give up. I feel like all that propeller spinning should be affecting the axial precession of the Earth, even though I know it doesn't. 
The Coriolis effect is not working for me today. Well, I will say my career is turning out much more varied than I would have thought. Nope, no treasure here. Physicists don't usually see this kind of action. Too much action. Gah! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> this is kind of how I claimed my lab space on my first day of work. Except I didn't have a shotgun for that. But I didn't need one. Okay, this is the wrong way. I'll be leaving now, and I guess going in circles the other way? Maybe some options will open up, even though they shouldn't, but... Okay, you are way too big. I wonder how this fits into the ecosystem. It doesn't seem to be actually eating anything. You missed! Alright, well, that gives him someone new to play with while I walk in circles again. Mine! Man, is he following me? Yes! This is the place I should have decided to take a nap. Wait for him to leave. It's too loud though, I'm never gonna get any sleep here. So where are these mines? I guess past this hill? You will get buzzed off! No, I, I, I thought I hated mosquitoes and then I met you. Okay, maybe he thinks I'm going that way now. You know, I think this is the first situation I've encountered in the past two days where a grappling hook would not solve all my problems. So I guess I went in circles because I didn't want to walk into a fucking minefield. What great options. I need a can of orange spray paint so I can tag one of those bodies and throw it out as a deep. Damn it. I swear, every time I come out from underground, you think the world's ending. Oh wait, it is ending, because I'm alive. <laughs> I don't think they put mines to the very sides, did they? Yeah, the rock wall should be good. Hell, the signs are on this side, so that means they're expecting movement from the other side. Yeah, I'm good. Well, good in the mine department. Not so good in the helicopter pilot with the hard-on for me department. Neither of these departments were a problem before today. Hmm. Oh! Open manhole. Okay, yeah, this'll work. It's amazing how relative deprivation and gunfire change your attitude about things. Hmm, there's barbed wire there, I guess. Jesus. Okay, I think I should just jump it in case there's a mine right next to it, because that's something I would do. Alright. <gasps> ah, a little close there. Don't want to floss with this stuff. Oh my god, it's like 20 degrees cooler down here. Oh, of course. I'm not even surprised. I just forgot. I think there's sand in my suit. For somebody who's not escaping from prison, it sure feels like I am. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I have time to try and wedge this thing open. Should be able to do it in under an hour. Oh, that puts me ahead of schedule. So this is why unions were formed. So when you get lucky breaks like this, management doesn't make three seconds the new standard for opening a welded gate. Yeah, try and follow me through this drainage pipe, flyboy. I don't think so. <sighs> Sadly, I am noticing a pattern here. I seem to be going back and forth between wanting nothing more than to get above ground. Then once I do, there's something so bad happening topside that it makes me wish I was never born and I go back underground again. Then fuck Groundhog Day. It's getting worse, too. I'm reasonably certain there's going to be an active volcano outside if I do this in that time. Yeah, okay, see, what's that? Are they spraying nerve gas? Ah, come on! Why is the drainage pipe that's been welded on one end being guarded? And you're beeping. That's like a death sentence right there. Did I get it? It stopped. I don't know. I like to be sure about these things. Close enough. Okay, so, uh, watch your step. Jesus, this is pretty high up. Oh, perfect, that's good. I needed something to take my mind off of death. Echo. You know, I have the height advantage here, so that means my bullets are traveling a little faster than yours. What'd you say to me? Actually, it doesn't matter. I've got the best comeback of all. A spa's 12. What? What was that? Didn't catch that. Yeah, don't have anything to say now, do you? I actually don't hold a grudge against someone talking trash about me if they're shot afterwards. I try to rise above that and find my own peace. Damn, I am high up. I don't even see an obvious way down. 
besides, well, the obvious. Okay, I think this will do it. Ah, Christ. Ah, oh, man. Just one trip up here and that's all it takes to... Uh, anyway, I'm not an anthropologist, but I don't know of any modern cliff-dwelling societies. I'm sure the first settlers probably thought it was a good idea because they have good defense. But once Little Billy starts playing near the cliff, then there's no more Little Billy. Then Little Susie and Little Timmy fall off, which doesn't help the situation. I think those societies are all extinct now. Oh man, that was so sneaky of you. Getting me to kill you so that the kickback from my gun could have knocked me over the edge? That was clever. If I hadn't braced myself, it might have worked. So I guess you were just hiding in a hole in the rock, huh? Were those your orders, or was that your own initiative? Oh, man. Where are you guys coming from? If you're trying to do the same trick as the last guy, you're doing it wrong. It doesn't work at your angle. At best, I'll only get knocked back towards the wall. I don't know why I'm even explaining this to you. Hmm, I'm really tempted to slide down that pipe like a banister, but I think I'll regret it as soon as I get to the end of it. I'll find another way. Seriously, how are these soldiers getting here? Parts of this trail are narrow enough that I'm afraid to sneeze. Yet they're sprinkled all over it, stuck in rocks. Maybe they're still recruits and this is the last part of their training. And Command just dumps them out of a plane and tells them to make their way back to base. No actual plan as to how they're supposed to get off a cliff, just ingenuity. Whoever doesn't die in the process passes the training. If two thirds of the recruits die or get stranded, then it's labeled as intensive training. I bet there's a bunch more of these guys stuck in the canyon below. All right, this looks like our best candidate for not uh... Okay, careful descent, no break dancing moves. Here we go. <laughs> Good to be on this. This isn't a path! <laughs> if I'm going the wrong way, I have problems. Oh, whoa! Okay, I think I've determined the cause of death. That's two of them. Maybe hiding in holes really were their orders. Why? Yeah, I'm not getting that gun out. If the soldiers wanted to kill me, they could have just dumped a bucket of gravel right here. Dead. I guess I shouldn't be thinking about that, but I'm pretty sure they can't read my mind. Ah! Hell, I can't read my mind. Wait. Maybe. Speaking of mind reading, one thing that pisses me off are those tinfoil hat people. They don't know what they're talking about. Hold on, I've got to concentrate. Make sure I don't die. I do that sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, assuming mind reading is possible, which is a big assumption, that... What the fuck is this? Is this seriously the bridge to the other side? I'd expect better than this from a Peruvian burrow trail. Jesus Christ, why not just put up a sign that says die? What the fuck? These pipes look professionally built. How did that happen? Not like this. The wood's rotting, the stakes look rusted. I don't know how the soldiers got here, but it wasn't this way. Or maybe it was, that's why so many of the planks are missing. If I had a grappling hook, I could just tie off, rappel down, and be done with it. Actually, maybe not. I'd have to be carrying a hell of a lot of rope. <sighs> well, they did use aircraft cable. I'll give them that. So there's more support if I walk on the sides, since these boards look like they have the tensile strength of rice cakes. I'm probably overreacting. Oh no, it's happening! Oh, 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 in retrospect, maybe I should have checked to see if the soldiers had any rope on them. It could have tied at the bridge and... But wait, look at these stakes. They're practically on the edge of the rock. They could have just popped out. Well, at least no one's following me. Unless the cliff is following me. No. That'd be a lot louder. Actually, I'm gonna use the pistol. This is kind of unwieldy right now. I'm so high up. I didn't realize Black Mesa was literally built into the Mesa. 
I guess that makes my Indian burial ground theory less likely. I'll take that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna trust this catwalk with my life. Because I'm sure it's different from every other catwalk I've walked on at this company. Actually, it is different. The other ones had guardrails. I think I'll stick with the rock. At least I know it's been built to code. If a spider jumps on me now, I'm gonna have to be careful not to freak out. I could fall off. I don't think there are many spiders out here, though. Wait, you're not a spider! Okay, careful! I can fall off! Careful! What the hell are you doing? I could slip on these shells! You ever think of that? No, of course not. As usual, I'm the one who has to think of these things. Whoa, motion sensor doors. This is a step up from the death slide trail. Is that? Oh my God, it's a rocket launcher. The perfect gift for the man who has everything. Oh, you and I are gonna go places. My mind is spinning with new possibilities. You are the first good news I've had all day. Yes, I'll bring your friends. Locked. Hark, dost thou hear with thine ears what I hear with mine? Interloper, no quarter shall be shown hither, fiend. Anon, show thine self, churl. Have at thee. Curses! Fire upon thee! But ho, the laser on mine rocket launcher be not a mere target, but a guidance system. Where art thou? Come hither that I may smite thee. Thou shalt not be missed. That was liberating. Whoa, wait, what's that sound? Do you hear that? I think that's silence. That's the sound people make when everyone trying to kill me is dead. And I have a rocket launcher. I have a rocket launcher with a laser guided system. And I'm walking on a really, really narrow cliff face. <sighs> Mm. Besides seeming like a gift from the gods, this rocket launcher gives me some food for thought. I may have to revise my theory about the universe wanting me dead. If that was true, the rocket launcher would never have happened. Only most of the universe wants me dead. There's some larger game going on here. I'm more like Perseus or Odysseus, caught in the center of some cosmic politics. That's too bad, I was hoping the universe would end with me. Maybe there's still a way to make that happen. Hmm. I feel like I'm forgetting something important. Mind reading! That was it. Okay, let's assume it exists, even though the transmission doesn't show up on any known spectrum. The tinfoil hat people. What do they think? That it's electromagnetic radiation? Then what do they think the tin is going to do? That, that, that step was a little tricky. Oh God, oh God, oh. So anyway, if it's electromagnetic, you'd need a Faraday cage to block that and a tin foil hat doesn't act like one. It's not even grounded. In all likelihood, a chunk of metal on your head is going to conduct any signal you're worried about, not block it. You'd have better chances with a lead helmet coated in rubber. Tin foil hat people are ignorant. Oh God, Jesus! Yeah! Toro, motherfucker! Splat! Forget the mind reading, I just want a helmet. Cranial protection against punctures and lacerations. And bullets. Ooh. Well, I'm not wasting a rocket on the chance that there might be another one of those things in here. I guess I'll just do things the potentially painful way. If the circumstances were different, this area would actually be a pretty kick-ass place to build a water slide. If this suit has a GPS tracking system, how come I can't see where I am? I guess it's an anti-theft feature. I would have stolen this a long time ago if I realized how functional it was. Okay, which way? Red? Or red? Or the other way? No, wait. I came from there. Shit. Red it is. Oh, nice. Looks like somebody started on my water park idea. I guess this would be for tubing beginners? 
Oh, I know. I bet you alternate the flooding from different tubes so you get knocked around from the different torrents. I like where they were going with this. They need to expand the length of the canals, though. And get rid of the special forces unit. That's gonna make for a shitty theme for a water park. The customers shouldn't have to be packing heat in order to finish the ride. I really am kind of surprised these guys haven't given up by now. I mean, sure, they're following orders, so they're not gonna give up. But who's in charge? If I was running this thing, I would go and- Good, they didn't see me. I guess they thought the water splashing was a fish. But yeah, whatever the name of this mission originally was, it's probably being called Operation Fuck Up by now. If I was in charge and one man was killing every single soldier I sent to kill him, I would try something else. Hell, I could be a general. I have enough combat experience by now. I'm gonna sing about it. They can't stop me. <clears throat> I am the very model of a modern major general. Life information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England and I quote the fights historical. From marathon to Waterloo in order categorical. I'm very well acquainted too with matters mathematical. I understand equations both the simple and quadratical. I bought my new real theorem. I'm teaming with a lot of news. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. Where's my chorus? I'm very good at integral and differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beings and immaculus. In short, I'm minus vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. I know our mythic history king author since a paradox. I answer hard at cross I have a pretty taste for paradox. I quote Ely Jags, all the crimes of Heliocabalus, and conic second floor peculiarities parabolus. You know, this song is kind of dated. It's supposed to be modern, major general. I'm gonna add a new verse. I can fire right at target and hit it at least half the time. I graph out an electron path while using only numbers prime. I calculate the full rate of a bullet shot of thousand yards. I perforate the thick ends of a hundred military guards. I can make a simulation of an atom bomb and build one through or flank a dozen men and ambush ten of them out of the blue. From SMGs to RPGs, I carry quite an arsenal. And skip around a war zone like a subatomic particle. Still no chorus! Okay, come on, sing and I won't kill you. Those of you that are left, I mean. Ah. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Every soldier out here wants to kill me for my curiosity. At which we're on the whole damn world because of my tenacity. It matters combat tactical and physics theoretical. I am the very model of a modern major general. Alright, no one else is even trying to sing along. I quit. Okay, delivery for Mr. Abrams. Oh, come on. I know someone's home. No, I don't need a signature. You have a nice day. Ah, a button. Oh, good. Yeah, I kind of want to keep moving. I get the feeling someone may have heard the sounds of multiple tank shots and the tank exploding. Sometimes people investigate that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm under investigation. On the plus side, this guy is shooting rockets. That means if I die, I'll see it coming. That's cool, right? I'm trying to find the silver lining here. There's not much. I bet you didn't know I could dance, did you? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? You hanging out? That's cool. I'm not a or anything, am I? I figure you guys are cool and all. So I'm just gonna kind of chill out here if that's cool. I figure it's like my place is your place and the other way around and stuff. So I'm just catching in on that. Hey, I'm just gonna borrow this gun. I'll give it back, I swear. You can ask anybody. I'm good for it. I just need it for a little bit. Like, you won't believe this, but there's like this big misunderstanding or something going on with me. I know, right? And I have to set the record straight and stuff, so you know how that is. Like, I don't know what this guy's deal is, but he's really pissed at me. Like, I was trying to start something with him as if. I mean, everybody knows me that I would totally not do something like that. So this is all bullshit. Like, I've never tried to piss anyone off in my life, so why should I start with him? Does he think he's special or something? Because he's not. I just don't go around doing stuff. Shit. That's the problem with tanks. They're designed for this. It's a shame I have to take out this tank, because man, if I could convince the operator to just walk away and give me the keys, the game over. I could be like that dude in San Diego who stole a tank and the entire police force couldn't stop him. He was mental, too. Oh, what happened? Besides me being awesome. I was hoping to hit the operator, but obviously something else happened. If I had time, I'd love to do a ballistic simulation to try and come up with a theory as to how shooting a tank with bullets can make it explode. It must have ricocheted and ruptured a shell lying around. You can't buy that kind of luck. You just have to be me. Nice. 
Motion sensored rusted garage door. Wow, my knees are wobbly again. I wonder why that is. I think I'm just gonna take a break in case there's another tank aimed at me right outside the other door. Besides, this looks like a party room anyway. Yeah, if I was a general, I would just use nerve gas and be done with it. I don't even have a helmet. They can't figure that out. Fuck it. Hmm, if I was hardcore, I'd be able to roll my R's when I sang the song. General. 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 I, I can't do it. I guess that's why I'm not a real general. They can probably all sing properly. So, back to the trenches for me. Literally. I guess this really is my new job now. Killing people. I've had worse. Good, no tank. Cleaning out grease traps. Whoa, what is... Yeah, how do you like Earth gravity? Nice parachute! Hey, a plane, over here! The plane ignored me. Maybe the Air Force isn't in on the same conspiracy to kill me. Well, I shot at it. That's what you're supposed to do to signal rescue choppers, right? Or maybe that's just in the South. I know that's how they do it in Florida and Louisiana. So, another minefield. Is this sign bluffing? Probably not. When the hell did they have time to plant a minefield around here anyway? It must have been a rush job. They probably didn't even make a map. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll bet anything those mines aren't documented. <clears throat> that means in 20 years, some documentary maker is going to come here and get his legs blown off trying to film this place. Here's to you, future dude. Oh, there's- Jesus Christ! That debris could have triggered the trip mine! Clearly we didn't have enough regular mines for this side, so we added some exposed ones next to falling rubble! Because we haven't bombed this place enough already, is that the idea? Oh my god! Is there a squirrel up there on the roof or something? This could be payback. I don't see anything. I don't understand why we have all these trip mines. I guess the idea is if an alien comes by here, we blow it up and the side of a building. Oh, this one's sneaky. Trying to trip me. What? Oh god, no, not now! <laughs> this must be how old people feel about stairs. Oh, another dead guy. That's nice. Well, he didn't die from a mine. He still has all his body parts attached. Maybe- <laughs> Oh my god, that was close! Wait, is this that same sniper from last night? Is he following me? I knew it! That guy is fucking evil! He shot at me and practically herded me into this trip mine here! Vicious. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Why is this door to nowhere locked? Were they afraid people were gonna drive through here and park on the minefield? I guess that is a valid concern! Well, I'm not walking through the goddamn minefield, so I've got a problem. I'm not gonna climb this ramp. Snapper will pick me off for sure. And this suit is still blaze fucking orange. I haven't been shot enough times to wear all the paint off yet. Looks like this door is my best chance, even though I have no reason to think it's unlocked. I guess I'll just wing it if it doesn't work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wake up. Yeah, that's kind of where my life is right now, where I know my best option isn't going to work. Okay, so let's go and not do this. Yep, it's fucking locked. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. <sighs> that could have gone worse. Any day where you don't have your brains painted against the wall isn't all bad. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, surely a sniper can't hit a moving target. Good. <laughs> yeah, I better stay out of there. I didn't realize this was a sniper preserve. That must be what all the landmines are for. To keep them from wandering into the residential areas. It's for their own protection just as much as ours. If we let them run free, then they'd snipe everything in sight and run out of bullets. It would disrupt the ecosystem. <laughs> yep, yeah, see, I hear them. Oh, wow. Looks like I made the right call not tiptoeing through the minefield. 
I don't think I could jump to that fence from here. And if they were smart, which is a big if, but if they were, they would put the mines right at the fence where I would land. That's what I would do. Okay, so what's the plan now? Besides more sunburn. Ah, that'll work. I don't even have to be Jackie Chan to do this one, which is good for obvious reasons. <sighs> okay, so the aliens don't come from the swamp planet, but their gravity has to be lower than ours. <laughs> that flyer dropped off aliens while it was two stories in the air. Just fucking free falling. Apparently they saw no problem with that. That's considered normal and perfectly safe where they come from. Holy crap. So if I had made it past the minefield, then I would have had to climb through barbed wire so I could be electrocuted. Jesus, I don't think they have to worry about coyotes digging through the trash around here. And I'm sure that door is to a room filled with candy and treasure, but getting there is just not happening. I bet the soldiers would put landmines on the roof if they could, just to be sure. All right, this looks like my entrance. If I had an acetylene torch. I still can't get over the aliens jumping from that height. Are the aliens bad at math? I guess it's possible. They only have three fingers and we have five. Nobody believes me, but I think we'd be farther along technologically if we had six fingers on each hand. I mean, for God's sake, the gene for polydactyly is dominant. I have no doubt that- Whoa! What am I doing? Not getting shot. I think that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, there's people who give you the evil eye and then there's snipers. Big difference. But yeah, I feel certain working with a duodecimal system would make us better people. I think we'd all be surprised how many of our problems would be solved if we all had 12 fingers. Okay, this looks like my ticket. Nope, oh, we've got a live one. Hey, make any sudden movements and I'm gonna shoot you, okay? Okay. What's up? Me. You're heading for the Lambda Complex, aren't you? I have no I idea. Until I wound up here and, well, simply lost my nerve. Take one look through that door and you'll see what I mean. Boxes. I'm just going to wait out the catastrophe in here. If you intend to go on, then I beg of you, proceed with extreme caution. Man, if it's worse than what I've seen, it must be silverback gorillas with flamethrowers. Well, I'll be honest with you. I was thinking about shooting you just to be safe, but I decided maybe killing scared unarmed people doesn't make me the good guy. So if you're waiting here, do you have a deck of cards or what? Oh, hey, how many fingers do you have on your hands? Okay, so you don't have anything, do you? No food, water, guns. I'll be blunt, you're not selling me on the wait here plan. I'd say that I think this is going to get worse before it gets better, but really, I think this is just going to get worse forever. So in other words, I think it's going to get worse before it gets worse. If you bet on that, I think it's pretty safe money. Ha! Okay. Hey, there's nothing here, man. Except for the trip mine. But, you know, if you don't bother them, they don't bother you. There's no... I, I don't... What is this? Hey, you said take one look out this door. And now... I was expecting... Clowns? I don't know. He's just trying to trick me. Like everyone else! <laughs> I should have just shot him. Well, he'll be dead soon enough anyway. He's the man with the plan and no food or water. Why did they put mines near the ceiling? Well, anyway, the wait here plan only takes you so far. In fact, it doesn't take you anywhere. It might have been a good plan yesterday. Damn, a lot of lasers. Why is this guy smoking? Did somebody shoot him in the back? It was you! Okay, another one of you. Okay, stay still. Don't move. No, don't do that. See, you should. No, don't you. Don't you ever do that again. If you don't teach them, they'll never learn. God, that thing almost tripped the laser. Why are there so many lasers here? I feel like I'm trying to steal a diamond. Wait, are there diamonds here? That would turn my day right around. Whoa, whoa. Not that way. That way is a shortcut to a place I don't want to go. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that's really all I have to say on the matter. Locked. Oh wait, I've been here before. This is that door by the mines and the... 
pain. Jesus, there's rockets in here. I wonder if they're just the chassis or if they're totally fueled up next to these mines. Hell, knowing us, they're fueled up and the warheads are still active. And we have extra fuel barrels, just in case. Yeah, wow, look, they just slapped the mines and everything in sight. A loose crate, add a mine. Some metal railing, add a mine. A mop handle, add a mine. This room confirms every single thing I've suspected about the soldiers. This is their grand strategy at work right here. Just slap easily triggered mines on everything in a room that could wipe out half the facility if there was a chain reaction. Oh, and leave some aliens hopping around in it higgledy-piggledy too. Yeah, there are no surprises here. <clears throat> Just blow up everything in sight. <clears throat> Don't worry about how we do missile research here. <clears throat> Now, why is this guy smoking? Does he have any money? No, I should give the soldiers that much credit. Where am I? Oh. What is this? It has holes in it like spikes are gonna come out of it. And it has yellow-black caution lines. Can I trigger it? Why would we make something like this? Wait, what am I saying? That's the wrong question to be asking in this place. Although it leaves me damn curious what you would tell other people that it's for. I mean, it shoots spikes up out of the ground. Do we use it to kill cattle? I guess you could- oh. I am not- no. <laughs> but yeah, are they actually gonna kill a cow with that? That's crazy! It would hit its legs first, it could easily miss its brain. It would just make horrible noises and be in as much pain as possible. Okay, so I guess that's why we made it. Solve that one. I don't get it. Why do they need this to lift into the computer room? And where are the spikes? Are they on a time delay? I better get off this. Maybe the spikes haven't been installed yet. I wonder if I could just position one of these missiles and ride it out of here. Nah, I would die on impact. All right. Guess it's time to check out what the seizure button does. Jeez, that's fast. Wait a minute, that guy saw all these mines, but he's just hiding in the next room? He thinks that's safe? Why would anyone think that? He should be running from here as far as he can. What is that? Space larva? Freaking death worm? Mm. Well, it's evil. I know that much, so... So did I kill it? Or do I need to take this up a notch? No, I think I got it. It's dead. Dead. Hey! Ah! Wah! Oh! What the fuck? Fucking dumbass! He ran right in front of my sh Jesus Christ! See, this is why I don't have friends. All they ever do is run around screaming, causing problems for everyone, until somebody tries to kill them. Friends are like weeds that scream. Hey, the lights are on. Tell me the keys are in here. Tell me the keys are in the ignition. No, damn it! That's not what you're supposed to tell me! Ugh. My lack of preparedness is biting me in the ass again. I've always meant to learn how to hotwire a car. I never got around to doing it. That crap is all on the internet now. There's no excuse. And let's face it, this is not a Porsche with a laser cut key. Ah, hell with it. It didn't have a steering wheel anyway. Maybe I should shoot the tires just out of spite. Huh? <laughs> Military car alarm! Ah. <sighs> Now I'm even more pissed about not being able to hotwire this truck. It had a turret gun ready to fire in the back. That's way better than those beeping noises dump trucks make when they back up. Okay, I don't see anyone, but I'm expecting people dressed up in full concrete camouflage laid flush against the wall. I mean, there were fucking ninjas here last night, weren't there? Was that real? Of course, now that it's daytime, they've all disappeared. NOT WHAT I WANTED TO SEE! Good. Exactly as I planned. Shit. 
This was not part of the plan. You're not supposed to be here. Oh! Okay, I know what time it is. Because it's clearly rocket launcher time. However... Exactly. Mr. Dead to Rights, the tank operator, doesn't seem to operate in my time zone. His clock says it's time to turn me into red paste. Okay, time to reflect on my life choices again. That tank totally just shot and killed one of his soldier buddies without hesitation. Almost killed the other one. Man, I'm never joining the military. I'm starting to wish I hadn't shot that security guard. His willingness to run in front of gunfire would be real handy right about now. I tell him to run out there first, I run the other way, it would be perfect. Teamwork, the ultimate sacrifice. Okay, time to go out in style. Zigzag, zigzag! <laughs> Is he gonna blow through the building? He doesn't have to. Personally, I would recommend he not blow through the building. I shouldn't even suggest that to him. Why is this door not moving? It's blown off the hinges! I can see its sides for God's sake! This is not locked, this is cheating! Tell reality to stop cheating! Reality, how could you? So, let's face the facts. I don't have a grappling hook to climb up the building, and this tank needs seconds to turn the barrel left and right. So that's my window of really shitty opportunity. Hey, I'm not here right now, this is my day off, so don't- No. Okay, good. No second tank behind it. Oh yeah, what now, Captain boom -a -lot? How about you turn your gun towards me and kill yourself shooting the wall? I'm right here, asshole! Come get me! That's right, this side! Okay, bye. Oh god. Don't be a noob, don't be a noob. I, I can't handle a noob. Okay, I'm not blind and my face is still on my face, so that probably wasn't a new. Ah! Look out! There's a sniper outside! I said look out! You need to be careful! Watch out or he can shoot you! Listen to me! I said there's a sniper! I tried to warn them. Actually, I thought that second guy was going to run into his own grenade, but I think he remembered about it at the last minute. Some people are destined for a special kind of greatness. Jesus Christ, this thing is loud. You can hear it outside the building. I'm gonna turn it off. Damn it, it's not. I hit the switch, what else am I supposed to do? I wouldn't make a good surgeon. Hey, I just realized I don't know how to fly a helicopter either, but I think I should get a free pass on that one because it's unreasonable to anticipate. Okay, I'm gonna let you live because I need you for an experiment to ascertain whether tank shells prefer blue or orange colors. Sir? Yes, that's good. You may call okay, me sir. why not? Didn't want to die alone anyway. Excellent. Okay, Chuckles, you wait there while I figure out where we're going. Okay, is this... No. Oh, you want to take a shot, huh? Hey, speaking of initiative, I can't help but notice you were standing up here while I was screaming for help downstairs. Some people might look poorly upon that. Oh, wow. Grenades. I could have used these a few minutes ago. Guns. Shells. More guns. Holy crap. I've got to find Eddie. If I can haul all of this stuff out of here later, this is my ticket to a new life. Okay, I guess I can get this guard to help me carry some of this stuff. But we should probably find a way out of here first so we can come back here with a truck. Yep. All that target range time is gonna pay off big. Seriously, this might be a war zone, but there is money to be made here. I don't know how many MP5s I've seen just lying on the ground. We might need a couple trucks. That guard knew the code to this place. Maybe he knows other stashes just like this. He might just tell us. What does he have to I lose? I don't know if we should go any further. This doesn't look right. Eddie can interrogate him later if he doesn't, but one step at a time here. I'll just take what I can handle for now. I'll be using some of this just to get out of this madhouse. I don't have time to look through all these crates now. If it's anything like these shelves, we're going to cash out. Our luck has to change sooner or later. It already has. Don't you understand that? Forget it. All I need from you are the stash locations, okay? I'm not looking to split this share between anyone else besides Eddie anyway. I wonder if Eddie can even handle this much inventory. Fuck it. I know he'll try. 
I know, Eddie. When I tell him about all I've found that's just lying here for the taking, he's going to get that sparkle in his eye. It's that same sparkle he had before going to Panama. And I remember how that turned out. Oh, I have not forgotten you. I mean, we haven't. I'm not really the sentimental type, but... Well, no, I'm not. Okay, this must be the sniper residence. I received a bullet delivery from you by mistake, so I'm returning it plus a little something extra for your trouble. Okay, I'll mark down that you received the shipment. Hey, you don't have a car, do you? That would make my life a lot easier. You have no idea. But you probably don't. It got blown up. This place is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, so you don't know where you parked it, huh? Well, I can't blame you. If I knew where I was going, a few hundred people would be alive right now. But they were all assholes, so... Yeah. So what kind of car do you drive? I've been wanting to get a Crown Victoria from a police auction for some time now. I thought it would be cool to drive it around town with the police stripes and splash some fake blood all over the hood. Now what is with these doors? Whoa! Don't turn into one of those people, man. Okay, guess we're going here. <sighs> I smell an ambush. We'd better be careful. Hey, I'm the leader. I need you to go find a camcorder. <gasps> Then you can film me jumping around here and climbing on things. <sighs> if we're lucky, we'll catch some explosions or jets flying in the background. Then I'll mix some music to it later. It'll look sweet. Hey, you coming or what? If he thinks I'm waiting on him, he's in for a surprise. So this must be where that bomb hit. Why did they bomb this? It looks empty. Did they miss? Maybe they don't need a reason. Oh. They'll never think to look up. Yeah, try and advance on me from down there, surface dwellers! Today's forecast is sunny mixed with raining bullets. Huh, so was this building bombed before or after there were troops inside it? Me? I think it was after. Okay, how am I getting down? Uh, boop, ba, ba. I've lost track of how many friendly fire incidents I've seen the military commit by now, but a friendly bombing is a new one on me. And those are just the ones I've seen. So that means the actual number of friendly fire incidents is a lot higher. Anyone here? No? So what happened with that bomber pilot? Did he just sneak a flask of whiskey up in the cockpit and take off? Maybe he decided to do a barrel roll when he released the bomb so they would fan out everywhere. And why shouldn't he if he's drunk? Jesus Christ! I almost shot you! How'd that door open? Forget it. Don't spook me like that. You're really making me think about bringing back the kill everyone policy I had going on. Ah! <sighs> okay. I think I know what we're gonna do here. I mean, I think I know what I'm going to do here. You just... I'll be happy to survive this with all my parts. Yeah, you do that. On a lighter note, I never told you the second part of my plan. The cop car is just the beginning. The next part would take a while because I would have to pay somebody to train a chimpanzee in hardcore karate and attack people on sight. <sighs> I mean, he would have to be loyal to me, of course, and the trainer, but everyone else would get a beatdown. <sighs> then we could ride around at night, and I could just let him loose on the street for a while, watching him beat the crap out of people. Nobody would be prepared for this. I could have a little whistle or something I could blow to get him to come back to the car. Hello, this is ground control. Please approach my signal. Do you see my signal? Let me try another one. How about now? Do you see that one? Hello? No, no. Please stay inside the aircraft until after you've landed. Thank you. Hold on, we're having some technical difficulty. I'll be right with you. Excuse me, sirs, sirs, you're not allowed back here. Thank you. Okay, you're gonna have to check these through customs. This is ground control again. You're flying south. Follow my signal. If you decide you wanna keep on flying to another airfield, that's fine by me. Just keep going somewhere. We're gonna need maintenance down here. We've got a problem with the hangar doors. Okay, you're heading back east. Oh, you're coming around. Okay, let's line it up then. Your approach looks good. I'm just gonna guide you in. Just follow my signal. Looking we'll good.
Mexico, ground temperatures are 88 degrees with clear skies. Thank you for flying with us. Those aircraft didn't have the best safety records anyway. I don't need to be checked by security. I work here. Thank you. Well, I didn't want to go in there anyway. <sighs> yep. Yeah, have shotgun, will travel. One thing I don't- ah! uh. Shit! Not again! Okay, walk away. I'm not getting involved any more than I am already. It's not like I can get in any more trouble. What do I care? I launched a missile. Besides, I fucking told them not to do that. So what does he do? He does it again. That's the story of humanity right there. He didn't even find a camcorder.